stuff is expensive, man. Yeah. I gotta keep it lubricated. <laughs> Where do you even start? <laughs> right here. We gotta start getting all this out of the way. So there's two trees back there, Andre. There's one coming up on on this shed. Oh my goodness. And then there's another one that fell over it going that way. And we have to get the one going that way first so we can actually get the one up. This is definitely a lot of work due to the access. If the access would be nice, this would be easy, but the access sucks. And it's very hilly over here. You can see that giant rot on that tree over there. While they get set up, I'm actually gonna start cleaning this stuff up. I'm gonna use my baby saw, the 251. This thing can work. It's small, but it can do some damage. That's easy. Did she tell Hammer about the damage shed that she wants to keep the stuff? Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just take the stuff off the wall. Don't no, no, we don't take it out. Cut. I think you're gonna have to cut that for him. Oh. 
That would save us a lot of energy. Yeah, I think he'll drive in here because he's clearly fast. We need to cut this log in half for him because that's too big for him. And then that should be good. What do you say? Cut this one. Oh, 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 oh.
small area you cleaned up, I'm gonna knock this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it so I can have more room. This is gonna be a fun one. Hammer put the 36 inch bar on the 500i because he doesn't like the 661. He thinks that's more powerful. I think it the rips six better. It rips better, but not on a big boy like this. You want a bat? That's hardwood. You need more torque. It's got plenty but of torque. You'll see. I believe you, but I think that one would do better. What do you guys think? 661 or 500i on this big boy right here? I don't even think the 36 inch bar is gonna reach, so he's gonna have to cut from both sides. Thick. Cracked from up top. We're gonna put some pressure with the excavator and drop it straight right here. You got it. This guy, I can't even talk when he's running this thing, but you gotta be extremely careful to not mix up the controls when the excavator's turning around because earlier I almost hit Hammer's truck and if he mixes that up, he's hitting the house. So you better not mess up. Big boy right there. Tree is very dead. Yep, very, very dead. Full of cockroaches. Unbelievable. Roach Nation. That's a big old knot. It really is, bro. So how the excavator is set up, I'm gonna nod with him. I'm gonna nod with him because he won't be able to see.
it over 661, baby. All right. Do you think we should use the 661 to cut up the rest? 660 isn't going to cut through. This barely made it through. I had to hop sides. Well, either way, we got to go two sides. Uh, let me fill this girl back up. Oh, yeah, that drained her. Drainage. Takes two men to fill up a 500 eye, huh? Why are you doing that? It's hot. Lubricate, Lubricate, Lubricate it. Lubricating the bars? Heck yeah. Where the chain is? <laughs> Heck yeah. This stuff is expensive, man. Yeah. I gotta keep it lubricated. wood chips all over the GoPro and every single crack. I need a new GoPro. Who wants to sponsor me? Going from a sawman to an operator. Yeah, Mr. Hammer, Mr. Operator right here. Hammer is one of the best operators I know. He's the beast. He messes around sometimes, but sometimes he's an absolute beast. <laughs> Move my sledgehammer. This thing came in handy. You know, like every tool on my truck, including bug spray. This hammer didn't have it. Mosquitoes go crazy out here. It's like we're in Florida swamp land out here. See if we cut them fully through. Wow, that just dug in big time. Yep, perfect. We're all good. Yeah. Well, half of it is missing. That's still impressive. 
full of dirt. I can't believe how much dirt there is in there. Wow. Topsoil. Look how cool this looks. Caterpillar excavator, caterpillar skid steer. Josh is a rookie operator, but he's better than me. He has more sea time than that. Thing. We're definitely making our way through this backyard, but we still have a lot to do. And we gotta get that big boy down too. Leaning on top of the shed, it's crushed in the way. It's broken in half. Customer just wants to keep a bunch of stuff that's in there. It's insured apparently, but they still wanna save the stuff if we can. I think I got all my stuff. Do you need anything for me, Hammer? My rake or something blower? What do you, do you need anything or are you good? The rake, the rake would be great for right now. Okay, yeah, you can keep it. Can you come back more? No. I wish. I love working now. It's fun being out here. It actually is. Bunch of work to do. I mean, all you see is work, but priorities. Folks down here are definitely appreciative. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. Alright, brother. Good working with you. Yep. Y'all be safe. I'll see you guys another time. I got myself a nice little two and a half hour drive back home. I'm going to get home at about 8.30. Fun day working, though. A lot got done. Doesn't look like much got done, but a lot got done. It's really tough working through trees that are extremely tangled because you have to take a lot of precautions and you're not careful the thing will swing back and take you out for my og subscribers that watch my full videos and stay up to date with the channel don't get confused when you watch my next few videos because this video is created about two weeks after the next video you guys are going to be seeing so this is basically a sneak peek into the future so please don't get thrown off because it's going to be like a, a lot of like random stuff about us thinking about coming out here hammer coming out here me not being able to come out here but i still made it out here it's just just a little heads up basically 16 hours later i am back home got home safely thank you jesus the truck actually got really good miles per gallon guys i averaged 22 miles per gallon which is crazy but i'm also not towing so i'm still impressed it's a big 67 diesel truck 22 miles a gallon is pretty crazy to me and i reset it 265 miles ago five hours and 15 minutes on the truck so yeah, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm just under three quarters, but this is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video So if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace